I spent a couple of hours with Fedora Kinoite, and instead of rushing through features or specs, I just lived with it. I opened it up, used it like a normal computer, and paid attention to how it behaved when I wasn't trying to test it. That's usually where the truth shows up. The first few minutes are all about comfort. You log in, and you're greeted by KDE Prasma, clean and familiar. There's nothing aggressive about the design. It's modern without being flashy. Everything looks sharp, well-spaced, and thoughtfully arranged. If you're coming from Windows or another KDE-based distro, your brain doesn't need to rewire itself. You instinctively know where things are, and that matters more than people admit. What stood out early on was how stable everything felt. Not just fast, but settled. The animations don't stutter, the panels don't glitch. You don't get that tiny sense of tension wondering if something's about to misbehave. Fedora 43 with Kino White feels like it knows exactly what it wants to be, and it doesn't fight you. Once I started opening apps, that feeling stayed consistent. Apps launch quickly, discover opens smoothly. System settings feels responsive and well-organized. You can tweak visuals, adjust behavior, change themes, and Plasma still feels like Plasma. Kino White doesn't water it down. It respects the desktop environment instead of locking it behind artificial limits. Now, let's talk about the immutable part, because this is where many people either get curious or get nervous. The idea that the core system is read-only sounds restrictive, but in practice, during normal use, you barely notice it. You're not blocked from everyday tasks, you're not constantly reminded that you're on a special system. The immutability is quiet. It works behind the scenes. Installing applications through Flatpak feels natural here. You open Discover, search, install, and move on with your life. There's no dependency drama. No wondering if installing one app will break something else. Each app feels self-contained, and over time that builds trust. You stop thinking about package management and start focusing on what you actually want to do. I spent a good chunk of time just doing normal things. Browsing the web, watching videos, managing files, opening PDFs, customizing the desktop a bit. Everything behaved exactly as expected. No odd delays, no weird errors, no unexplained behavior. That sounds boring, but boring is underrated when it comes to operating systems. Updates are another area where KinoEd quietly shines. Instead of modifying the system live, updates are applied as a new image. You reboot, and you're on the updated system. If something ever goes wrong, you can roll back to a previous state. Even if you never use that rollback feature, knowing it exists changes your mindset. You're not afraid of updates anymore. You stop postponing them. That's a big psychological shift. I also spent some time in the terminal just to see how it feels here. Instead of installing development tools directly onto the system, you work inside containers using Toolbox. At first, this sounds like extra steps, but after a little time, it starts to feel clean and intentional. Your base system stays untouched and reliable. Your work environments stay flexible and disposable. If something breaks, it doesn't poison the whole system. Performance stayed consistent throughout my time. The system didn't slow down as more apps opened. Memory usage stayed reasonable. There were no random spikes or unexplained pauses. Everything felt predictable, which is something you only really notice when it's missing. One thing I appreciated was how Kinoi doesn't try to impress you constantly. There's no look how advanced I am attitude. It doesn't shove its philosophy in your face. It just quietly applies it. That restraint makes it easier to trust. Of course, this isn't a distro for everyone. If your idea of fun is constantly replacing core components, heavily modifying system internals, or experimenting directly on the base OS, Kino White will feel limiting. It asks you to treat the system as a foundation, not a playground. But for a lot of people, especially those who want reliability without sacrificing a modern desktop, that's actually appealing. As the hours passed, I realized something important. I stopped thinking about Fedora Kinoite as an immutable distro. It just became the computer. That's a rare achievement. Many experimental ideas in Linux feel clever but distracting. Kinoite feels mature, like it's already moved past the experimental phase and into everyday usability. By the end of my time with it, I didn't feel exhausted or mentally overloaded. I felt relaxed confident, like the system was working with me instead of waiting for me to make a mistake, and that feeling sticks with you. So, after spending a couple of hours with Fedora 43 Kinoite, my takeaway is simple. 
This is a desktop that prioritizes stability, predictability, and calm computing without sacrificing modern design or performance. It doesn't scream for attention. It earns trust quietly. If you're curious about where Linux desktops might be heading, especially in a world that values reliability more than endless tweaking, Kinoite is absolutely worth your time. It doesn't just talk about the future, it lets you live in it, comfortably. And that's been my experience spending a few hours with Fedora 43 Kinoite. Calm, solid, and surprisingly easy to like.